This is a tenon that we just removed out of a piece of the upper railing of the Phoenicia. Everything around it was rotten, and we were able to beat this out. My brother from from uh, St. George's here. As you can see, the shine that's on this piece, which tells us these pieces were in motion. Maybe just a little bit, but still, they were in motion. The um, European walnut held up well. The dowels held up perfectly well. That's the hardest wood in the Mediterranean, isn't it? Yeah. What's it made of? Uh, European walnut. No, the dowel, though. Olive wood. Okay, let's see if we can see that, that, that shine, that glaze. This piece uh, was rocking and rolling for 30,000 nautical yeah. miles. This is 2,600 year old technology. 600 BC, 600 years before Christ, replica ship. Amazing. Amazing. Now, how do you know that this, um, how, how do you know that this joint goes that back that far? Because it came out of a shipwreck out of Marseille, France. Jules Verne 7 was the archaeological dig. They dated it at 600 BC. And the uh, shipwreck is now in the museum in Marseille, France. And when did Mulek and his people... Mulek, Mulek left a couple years after, uh, or maybe in a couple years before Nephi, uh, after right, Nephi. Around, Nephi. right around 600 BC. This is his ship. Yeah. Pull that dial out all the way. Look how it slides. It's, it would hold even now. Yes, even now. Amazing. Ed. My name is John Lefgren. I'm here in Montrose, Iowa, trying to help with the reconstruction of the Phoenicia. This is a piece that's going to be brought back together. We have here um, something that we're going to show you. Satenian. See that? That's made out of European walnut. We have three of them ready to go. There are 7,500 of these tenons in the hull of the ship. There are two dials that are with each tenon. The um, the joining of the planks is going to, this goes inside there, and the dowel goes there. This is how it holds together. Watch us as we put this together. There are one, two, three joints. And one over here. And one over here. On this side, yeah. So we are doing four joints. These four joints represent 7,500 joints that are in the hole. So go ahead and Here's some glue. This is good glue. Uh, Gorilla glue glue. We're putting this inside the hole. Putting this inside this hole. A little glue will do it. And over here. Good. Now that's ready to go in. Well, let's set that piece right there. And then you're gonna put a little bit of glue in there. Put a little glue in here. The tenon, sometimes called a biscuit, Good. or even a, da a, a, a dynamo. This is a technique that any good woodworking class would teach the students. Very ancient. Shove a tenon in there. We're gonna shove a tenon in each case. Put that one over here. Yeah, put that one there. Put this one in. We're spilling glue on the floor. That's fine. Grab a dowel. We're gonna get a dowel here. A little taper on the dowel. This goes in like a nail. I tap it down right. Yep. Beat it all the way flat. Good. 
good. Bring your glue over here, John. We'll just put some glue on that. There we go. We'll slide that in there. This is a little different. We're going to have to come up through the bottom on that one. Yep, right, right there. Gotta get this lined up with the pinning. Yeah. It's got a little taper to it. It's going. Are we going in? Yep, yep. That's good. That's good. Because you can see they're all hanging out a little bit. All along here. Alright, well great. So now you have this piece. We have this piece is which we glued up a little earlier. Earlier. This is the outside of the hole. This is the inside. That piece goes over here. Oh. I see. Right. How's your one up there, John? Good? It's good. Good. All right, good. Those are a little offset on the point, so it'll actually it actually pulls it together. Look down in there. Can you see a hole? Yeah, it's there. I think you just pound it in there. Why don't you look at that hole? Okay. Very good. That come together really nice. This one here is. And this one here will. You've already got that one? I got that one in there. And then there's... One coming up through here. See if you can hit this in a little bit. Without hitting your finger. This is part number P36. Very good, John. Thank you. <clears throat> Just like a pro. Just like they did it 2,600 years ago. Not true, because they were better than I'll ever be. What a marvelous design. What a marvelous design. Ingenious. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you.